Well, 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 guys, look, we always knew we were gonna get here. Where? And we have so much further to go, but one in five homes now are doing price drops. If you've been following my videos, you knew this was coming. You knew that prices were going to continue to drop, drop, and drop because we have this high demand that was six months ago, that was a year ago, and now that demand has went down and the Fed is continuing to raise interest rates. Now we have price drops and sellers are saying I don't know I think it's better if I sell my property right now than if I wait especially if they have to sell their home my name is Orlando and welcome to the channel guys we got some really good stuff to jump into guys it says one in five home sellers are now dropping their price as the housing market cools <laughs> Like I said, we knew this was coming, guys. It says homes in August sat on the market an average five days longer than they did last year. Now, I know a lot of you guys are thinking right now, Orlando, that's not really a lot now. Five days extra? But if you knew where we came from, <laughs> you would appreciate where we are today. That was rough, son. We came from properties not even hitting the market and were already sold. Overpriced home. Every home that you tried to bid on had 20, 30, 40 bids on them. We came from a place that's mighty different than where we are right now. The median price in August dropped to 435,000 from 449 in July. Look guys, like I always say, we have to appreciate where we are right now and patience guys, patience is is key to drop off the cliff just won't happen tomorrow <laughs> I know some of you guys are hoping that oh man just just fall off the cliff some things need to happen first we need to have a build up before we actually get to the decline we're already in a recession we've already had the two consecutive GDP quarters you know I know the government isn't saying it but you know I wonder guys will we already have been out of a recession into recovery before the government finally says Hey, we're in a recession. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. Guys, this is good news. It says the average home sold for less than its list price for the first time in more than 17 months during the four week period ending August 29th, according to Redfin. Home sellers are getting nervous at a once hot market cools fast. One in five sellers in August dropped their asking price, according to Realtor.com, a year ago. That share was just 11 per cent. <laughs> Look, guys, look, we are getting there. Like I said, there's some things that we're waiting on to see. I am really, really interested in how the holiday is going to come along. Remember, we have things like student loans starting back up. We have a lot of things that will be started when the beginning of the year happens. You have to remember a lot of people's pockets are still full right now. Now, should they be, should they be <laughs> buying an expensive over? priced home right now? In my opinion, no. <laughs> You know what I say, guys. Sit on the sidelines right now. Go ahead and rent if you possibly can. Get in a nice, cushy lease for six months to a year if you can. That's a great idea. This is the thing. If you can wait, I think you should. If you have to buy a home, then hey, look, you have to buy a home. No judgment here. You have to do what you have to do for you and your family. Just make sure you do the research. And once again, when I say sit on the sidelines, guys, I don't mean sit on the sidelines with your eyes closed and your ears <laughs> uh, shut off to the world. I mean, you have to sit on the sidelines, save money, and do your research on your local market. Because once again, your local market is different than someone else's local market. You have to know what's going on in your neighborhood where you want to buy a home to be able to make decisions the smart way to make offers the way that you know that they will get accepted and then it goes on to say homes are simply not selling at the breakneck pace that they were six months ago when strong demand butted up against tight supply bidding wars were the norm and a seller 
could often get signed contract with under a weekend. This is the reason why I'm preaching this is that it's very, very important to know where we came from. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Where we are now is a great sign that we're going where we want to go. We want to get homes back to being affordable, right? We want that. Everybody, at least on my channel, is saying, I want to buy a home, Orlando, but I want it to be affordable. Well, that's where we're leading. And to get there, we have to realize where we are. You may be thinking to yourself, Orlando, 20% is not a lot for price cuts happening in the housing market. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is compared to 100% over asking. <laughs> so we have to know exactly where we came from for us to appreciate where we're going, guys. So make sure you have that in your mind, okay? It says the supply of home for sale is also rising fast, up nearly 27% from a year ago. Look at that. Who said supply was going to increase? Hmm. Let, let's think about who said that. Hmm. <laughs> You know, I've been telling you guys, once again, this is another reason why you should subscribe to the channel. <laughs> I'm pointing the finger saying, look, this is what's gonna happen. You know, I'm just saying. <laughs> I've been saying for months and months and months that supply is going to continue to go up because when interest rates go up, I knew demand was gonna go down. Minus one, that's free quick mess. A lot of people were in the housing market because they could afford it at two to three percent. But at six to seven percent, are the same amount of people going to be able to buy homes? No, it just doesn't work. The math ain't mathing. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense, guys. 69. 810. The numbers do not pan out that way. When you make it so cheap, there will be tons and tons of people, especially when you stuff their pockets. <laughs> when you stuff their pockets with money and then say, hey, what are you going to do with that? Well, a lot of people thought, I'm going to get into my home, but this is the time for me to purchase my first home. And that's exactly what happened. So with rates increases, you doggone right <laughs> that demand will go down and supply is going to shoot up because properties are now on the market for longer. We have sellers who have decided that, you know what, I need to sell my property now before I go ahead and lose money trying to sell it six months from now. So you have all of this inventory flooding the market coming in. Now, I understand it may not be pre-pandemic inventories or 2008 inventories, but come on, come on. Let's give it some time to marinate, guys. <laughs> yeah, boy. Let's marinate it a little bit. I know a lot of you guys just want to pop the roast in the oven. <laughs> I get it. I get it. But let's tenderize it a little bit. You know, let things build up because that's what's going to happen. I'm telling you guys, look, you know how when you look at 2008, you look at the financial crisis, mm. you can see the build up to it. You can see exactly what's happening in hindsight. But that same thing is going to happen and you're going to look back and you'll be like, how did I not see all of these red flags. Remember Orlando was talking about 20% drop? Remember Orlando was talking about unemployment, how people were getting fired from their job? Remember when Orlando was saying seniors couldn't afford property taxes because everything was doubling? Remember that? <laughs> and I was say, yep, video here, here, and here. <laughs> For many of today's buyers, the uptick in for sale home options is taking away the sense of urgency that they felt during the past two years when inventory was scarce. As a result, this shift coupled with higher mortgage rates, competition continued to cool in August. Listing price trend indicated that home shoppers are tightening their purse. Well, home shoppers have to. You have to understand everything costs more and it's going to continue to cost more because the Fed is going to continue to raise interest rates. Oh my God. Inflation is something that the Fed is trying to control, but let's take a look really quickly at what the market is saying. The market is bracing for another 75 basis points hike from the Fed this month. Now, what does that mean? That means that interest rates are about to go through the roof. No! <laughs> <laughs> that means that the values will continue to drop. The one to five will be two to five. Next thing you know, it'll be three and five. People will have nothing else to do other than to drop prices because home buyers cannot afford the homes based on prices six months to a year ago. Sellers, once again, that time is gone. <laughs> <laughs> this is not six months ago. This is not a year ago. The time has left. 
You have to price homes at the market value, what someone will pay for them. Jimmy down the street just sold a house for 300,000. Why are you still got your house up on the market for 400,000? It's gonna sit there. Oh, it's funny, cause it's true. Redfin reports a request for home tours and other home buying services for its agents at the end of August was down 16% for the same period. Yeah, guys, it's happening. And this is the reason why it's so important for you to stay on top of my videos so you know exactly what's going in in the housing market. But even with all of this information that I'm giving you, this next video here, this will help you tremendously and make you understand why you need to continue to do research and understand these details that would allow you to get into your first home, your first property. So make sure you watch this video, guys. It will help you tremendously. I will see you on the next one. Thanks.